Hello everyone, my name is Ricardo Black and I work with the UC Davis Arboretum and Public Gardens. I'm a student co-coordinator for the Habitat Horticulture Project under the Learning by Leading program, where we focus on optimizing gardens to maximize pollinator activity by providing habitats for pollinators like hummingbirds, bats, beetles, bees, and butterflies. Our team has chosen a few stories about pollinators to share with you all. As for today, we will be reading a story about a very special kind of butterfly, the monarch. Let's begin. The story we are going to read is called Senorita Mariposa. It's a wonderful story created by Mr. G and illustrated by Marco Rivero. That beautifully shows what the journey for the monarch butterfly looks like on her way from Canada to Mexico. Comencemos. Senorita Mariposa. The Monarch's Butterfly's Journey El viaje de la mariposa monarca Aquí vemos la trayectoria de la señorita mariposa, quien es una de miles mariposas heroicas que vuelan más de 3,000 millas de su casa de verano en el norte en Canadá y a su casa de invierno en el sur en México. Típicamente les toma tres o cuatro generaciones para llegar a Canadá seguida por una super generación que completa todo el recorrido hasta llegar a los bosques de Michoacán. Es algo maravilloso. Pero las mariposas no solamente son hermosas, también polinizan flores silvestres cuando bajan a descansar y a comer, toman néctar de las flores. Yo vivo en la área de la bahía en California y es común ver monarcas en mi jardín. Pero cada año hay menos mariposas por cambios climáticos, usos de pesticidas y pérdida de hábitat. Entonces, para ayudar a estas maripositas, hay que plantar algodoncillo, ya que es la planta que la monarca usa para poner sus huevecillos. Así que no importa dónde vivas, hay que hacer todo lo posible para proteger y ayudar las mariposas monarcas y a este hermoso planeta en el que vivimos. La historia de la señorita mariposa va así. Little butterfly, pequeña mariposa, you just caught my eye. Little butterfly, hermosa pequeña mariposa, flying through the sky, volando por el cielo. I love to see you in the trees. Me encanta verte entre los árboles, playing with the bumblebees. Jugando con los abejorros. Your pretty orange wings, tus bellas alas anaranjadas, make me want to sing. Me inspiran a cantar. Señorita mariposa, little butterfly, tú eres muy hermosa. You're so beautiful. Señorita mariposa, little butterfly, tú eres muy poderosa. You are so powerful. Te quiero a ti. I love you. It's hard to say goodbye. Es difícil decir adiós. But I know you have to fly. Pero sé que tienes que partir. Sixty miles or more a day. Por más de sesenta millas al día. We will see you on your way. Te veremos en tu camino. Can't believe how far you go. No puedo creer lo lejos que vas. On your way to Mexico. En tu camino a México. Over mountains capped with snow. Sobre montañas cubiertas de nieve. To the deserts down below. A los desiertos abajo. Then one day a great surprise. Algún día una gran sorpresa. There's a flash across the sky. Hay un destello en el cielo. Beating wings warmed by the sun. Las alas calentadas por el sol. Can't believe how far you've come. No puedo creer cuánto has viajado. Tú eres muy valiente. You are so brave. Tú eres tan fuerte. You are so strong. Tu viaje es un milagro. Your journey is a miracle. 
Te admiro mucho. I admire you so much. Wow. What a bright and brilliant sight. Que espectáculo tan brillante y colorido. Monarchs fill me with delight. Las monarcas me llenan de gozo. How nice to have a million friends. Que bonito tener un millón de compañeros. The butterfly fiesta never ends. La fiesta de la mariposa nunca termina. Señorita mariposa, little butterfly, tú eres muy hermosa. You are so beautiful. Señorita mariposa, little butterfly, tú eres muy poderosa. You are so powerful. Te quiero a ti. I love you. Author's note. While Señorita Mariposa is about one heroic butterfly and her migration to Mexico, she is not alone in making this epic journey. Far from it. Each year, millions of monarchs fly as far as 3,000 miles from their summer homes up north to the winter homes down south. No single individual flies the whole round trip. Typically, one super generation makes the journey south, while it takes three or four generations to complete the trip north. Southern travelers, like Señorita Mariposa, live longer and travel further than the generations that go north. These beautiful butterflies also help the planet as they, mi as they migrate by pollinating wildflowers when they feed on their nectar. Once the monarchs reach the Sierra Madre Mountains, millions will hibernate together in Oyamel fir trees. It's an incredible sight. Mr. G lives in the woods of western Massachusetts. I live in the East Bay area in California, and monarchs come to my yard every summer, but as the years go by, we're seeing fewer butterflies due to loss of habitat, use of pesticides, and climate change. It's more of a challenge than ever for the monarchs to survive. But what can we do to help these remarkable creatures? The simplest thing is to grow milkweed, the native plant the monarch butterflies feed and breed upon. And so, wherever we live, Let's do everything we can to protect the monarchs and this one precious planet that we all share. Because as you can see, people can live with butterflies in harmony. Now this book is dedicated to all the men and women who had to fly off like mariposas to find a better life. So that concludes our Señorita Mariposa story. So let the butterfly fiesta begin. Y que comience la fiesta de las mariposas. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.